Hello everyone! Welcome back to Animal Crossing. Um, today I wanted to do a little tutorial of how I made these cute little welcome mats that I use for my villagers throughout my island. Um, it's pretty simple, but I wanted to share some tips so that you guys can make your own. Um, I'm going to put down in the description a link to my creator code if you guys want to download some of my designs as well as links to some of the favorite ones that I found while searching on the internet. So, to get started here, we're going to go to the Custom Designs app. You can see my little welcome mat here. I'm going to choose a blank design, and we're going to go to Change Design. And here's the empty canvas. First, the very first thing that you need to do is go over here to this transparency color and do a fill on the background. That's going to make the background transparent so that whatever is not um, colored in will display the ground underneath of it. And that's important for these welcome mats because they're actually only half of a tile. And that's because half of the tile is going to be hidden underneath of the house that you put it under. And that's what makes it look uh, cute and natural as opposed to some of the bigger designs that don't look quite as good. So, the first thing, I'm going to pick a color that's going to be my base color. And I think I like that brown. So I'm going to fill in my mat with that color. And then I'm going to select the next color in line here. It's this weird peachy color. And I'm going to turn it into a brown as well. But I'm going to turn it into a sh couple shades darker than what the doormat itself is. And that is so we can take the pen tool and go over here and create this sort of dark border around this side here. And if you look on the canvas, it shows what it looks like and it kind of gives it a shadow to make it more three-dimensional. When it's on the ground, it makes it look more like a doormat and less like just a static image on the ground. And that's actually it. That is the base for a doormat. So now all that's left to do is decorate it. Animal Crossing has these cute little stamp tools, which is what I'm going to use just for ease sake. But I've learned that cross stitch patterns and perler bead patterns and anything that you can design on a grid works really, really well with these. So you can make any kind of design that you really want based on that, like pixel art is really good. And that's it. Then I'm going to just save this little doormat here. And I'm going to pop it here under Aurora's house. So to place it on the ground, you just get as close to the house as you can. Hit your design pattern and hit display on ground. And now there's a cute little doormat there. So that's it. Go ahead and post in the comments any cute little doormats that you guys make. I'd love to see them. And I guess I'll see you next time. Bye!